Go, oh my. What? The damage? Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we are eating good as for the waste fans now because we have so much new content. One of which being this interesting overdrive zone. Ooh. Now, if you're unaware, it is a new tower versus D zone where it has tougher enemies even compared to experiment zone or hazard zone where we have before. Now, as someone who's a casual player, I can't even max our hazard tower. And they have just done release a harder version. And today, we're gonna see how tough it truly is. And overview of the new overdrive zone, we have three towers like every other zone. And I'm noticing there's only six stars per tower. Usually that means it's two boss stages, three star each, right? So we're basically fighting six total bosses. And if I'm right, let's say if we go in Echoing Tower, yep, we need five Vigor costs. That means we need three teams now. That means if you thought your Marina can finally retire and leave it that pain now that you have Shorekeeper, no. In fact, you gotta even build a Baiju, the final healer slash buffer for this mode. There's no other healer in the game, right? And you thought that was hard. Watch this. You have a lot of effects that really based on elements. As the tower has have a res and fusion res reduced, but Glacial Electro Increase. But for the tower on the right, it's different. It's Aero Resistance, Electro Res Reduce, Fusion have a Res Increase. That means every free to play is gonna get destroyed. You thought you were like, Encore main is really well built, or the Chang Li Yu pole, you can use it here. Nope. Fusion Res Increase by 10. And not to mention, the bosses should not be easy either. Well, in the Hazard Tower, we already have Balancy and No Return, and Light Crusher. We even get Scar with like, a whole monster room of other mobs. And yeah, let's try this out and see if I can even beat it, dude. I don't think I can hold back, so let's go. If this team does not 3-star, I don't know what could, right? Shorekeeper JG Jinsei. Let's take a look at how the wave works as well, because usually there's like a wave of mob and then the boss, or it's just straight bosses, right? Let's take a look. And it seems like it's just straight bosses. They are level 100, baby. We're gonna go for LT right away, and it's already kind of misplay, but we should be okay. And let's attack one more. JG comes in. And let's just avoid being attacked. Go with, oh my. What? Where's my HP? Well, I already died. We have our Q into the swap back over to you. I am not even doing damage, no? Yeah, I am doing damage, but it's just not a lot, huh? All right, let me focus up. All goes in, we use our Q, go with Genji again. We gotta do the same thing very quickly. Let's not get hit. Oh my god. The damage? I don't think I can compensate, guys. All right, we'll try it one more time, but this time we're really, really focused, all right? Alright, I'll say it's really not too hard, but at the start, where there's a lot of attack, where there's a lot of mobs as well, I had to do a lot of evading, and that could be sometimes where you just die out of nowhere. But thankfully, we have Shorekeeper. Even if you mess up, you get a revive, right? That's your failsafe right there. And after all of that, we still miss the three-star clear. I think we genuinely need all level 90s to really say consistently hit that, right? I'm sure if I restart this, now that I know how it's light, I could get the max stars. But wow. That was pretty tough. Level 100 enemies, man. And that's just the easier one, no? Like, this just gets harder, right? I can't imagine Crowless being easier. Let's try. And because we used five Vigor earlier, now we only have five left on the same team. So if I use this, I can't use this anymore. This is my strongest setup, and I can't use it anymore. I cannot wait to see how strong this Crowless guy is, huh? All right, this time we'll try live commentary. You'll get the raw reaction, right? Let's just go in and try. And here we go with Crowless. You should come with an attack right away. Did get the evade beautifully. Now, to slowly but surely whittle you down. Go for ulti with a Q. Go to Genji now. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to me? Walk in front slowly. Okay, that seems stupid. <laughs> I guess we're doing fine, huh? LT with Genji. Maximum concerto. Q goes in into my DPS. Go with the Jinxi. LT right away. Damage wise, 51k. Doing fine so far. We did a beautiful parry right there. And now, what are you gonna do? Parry again? Oh, yes. Beautiful. All right, I think we can beat this crownless guy because. 
purely elfish stupidity. How much is one hit on me gonna do? I really shouldn't be finding out. Let's just find not being hit, huh? At the maximum forte, E1 spacing. Go with the teleport. Teleport again. Teleport three times. Let's not get hit here. Beautiful. And now we gotta wait for my ult. Somehow I don't have enough energy regen. I think I'm missing a weapon on Genji. That might be the case, by the way. Well, too late now. We are in the middle of attacking. We have broken you no problem. We have not really gotten damage at all so far, which is great. Can we use our ult? 164k. Great. Go back over to Shorekeeper. Do some damage here because I'm a crit damage Shorekeeper. Like a fucking... <laughs> like a genius, in fact. That bit of damage is gonna be worth it, man. Back to Genji now. We have maximum forte. Let's evade here. Bang. Go with the E. Basic, E, teleport, teleport, beautifully, evade, last, oh shit, I'm gonna get hit, oh, oh shit, oh my god, we're evading everything, okay, that was a bit close, huh? that, was, that was a bit close, go to the queue, back over to Jinsey, I think we will have this guy, I just gotta keep repeating this without dying, right, so, I will see you when I kill him, which, okay. But yeah, all right, though. I'm going to see you guys once something else happened that's not just this. Oh my god, my Jenji's dying. Ugh! Go with E, go with E here. Don't die, Jenji. Just relax. Relax now. And so far, so good. Go with the R now. I will see you once I half health him, because right now, his HP is just not going down. On top of that, you can one-shot me. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, yeah, like, I gotta focus. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. I'll see you later! Oh my, I'm halfway through though, so yes, I can definitely win this, but I'm sure if I evade it better, I'm, al I'm also missing one weapon, I think, on JG, which is stupid. Oh, it would seem I'm missing a lot more than just a weapon. All right, I forgot. I, I kind of put her stuff away for someone else I was trying, trying to play, but all right, in that case, if I properly build JG, we're definitely getting like the three star clear for the first stage at least, but second stage though, still pretty difficult, right? I guess it's the same with the hazard tower from the hazard zone. It's still level 100, but I guess there's more gimmicks, maybe? There's more mobs. Like the first stage was just a mob, like the tween Heron, right? And of course, there's different buffs as well. Now it's elemental base, which is just so, like, concerning in my opinion for especially casual free-to-play players. What I tried was my best team. I'm definitely beating this, maybe with a 3 and 2 star, but that's only because I have Spectral Res reduction on the enemy, so if I'm, like, a GN main here, Arrow Res increased by 10, I'm gonna struggle. Like, if I'm Havoc uh, MC main as well, I'm also gonna struggle here. This guy's just gonna take way less damage. I'm gonna have to struggle a lot more. And imagine that you don't have Shorekeeper, which I'm preaching everyone to get, your healing capabilities is gonna get so challenged, right? You have a Varina that can do the job, but what do you do for the 13? Like right here, it costs 10 Vigor, right here, it costs another 10, and there's the last one also costs 10. You need 3, so one of the teams lighter than now, you're gonna have to use Baiji, and if you don't have one either Varina or two Shorekeeper, what's your final team? We're just survived by evading? That's gonna be so, so hard. That is not easy, man. Oh my god. Like, Wuwa is cooking with the endgame. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was the new endgame mode that I think is just straight up insanely hard. It's good for players that are going for that, which I think most Wuwa players, they want a degree of difficulty to the game, which that's good. That's something to grind for, right? But wow, for casual players, man, you know, try as much as you can, but don't sweat it too much. I don't think it's that easy for sure. I believe this is designed for people that actually have three full level 90 teams that's already grinded to that point to really be able to challenge that without like breaking their heads. But yeah, really challenging mode. I'm sure there are geniuses out there that can still clear them with like average level 70 80 teams crazy crazy content now i have something to grind for that makes me just feel excited yeah if i can beat that man dude I completed Wuwa. So you know what? I'm gonna work on that. Don't know what I can do in the third team yet, though. It has to be Baishu, right? Who else could there be? But we'll see. This is exciting. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's good that they have these endgames. But I also would prefer, you know, more casual um, modes as well. You know, for people that want to challenge the peaks, they have this mode. For people that just want to have fun, maybe have a fun mode, right? If anything, I'm hoping for a mode that really needs co-op. That's also enjoyable for everyone. So I can play with different people. Like, that would be fun. Or in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. And comment below any days might have. A guy coming soon for Shorekeeper. I'm in the middle of like getting that ready, I think. And that'll be all. Take care.